opening day festivities wrapping up and we'll be back to get this season started right after this. And welcome in everybody glad you're with us opening day baseball on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Seattle Mariners. My partner Chris Singleton I'm John Chompy so the Seattle Mariners find themselves as underdogs as the curtain rises on the season Singy, what do you say in the clubhouse when a lot of folks are writing you off before the first pitch is even thrown they say forget all that bro. block out the noise because the season is decided on the field okay so there's still talent on this roster and if one or two players have big years they could be right in the thick of the race that's a good point Chris seems like every year we see at least one team unexpectedly make a run and maybe Maybe this season they could be that team. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And towing the slab here, George Kirby. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, very respectable numbers last year, a sub 350 ERA, and you know guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos, they're dominating, but when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. for him to go out there and repeat it this year possibly even improve but I tell you what if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield I'm loving every minute of it here comes a 3-2 on the ground to first and that should be extra bases makes the turn and heads for second and it's a double to start the game. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Pablo Reyes stands in. The 1-1. Right through there for a strike. Ground ball left side and it kicks off the base. The throw is offline. He's saved. And it's 1 0. So up next, Masataka Yoshida. Out towards left center. And that will fall. He's in there. Rafael Devers up to him. And now time is called as there's a visit to the mound. Just talking things over. Nobody getting loose out in the pen. So a little consultation. Just missed. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. He misses. It's a strikeout. Cole gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on. And a pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count.
Right hander kicks deals. Fouls it off still one and two. And the right hander deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left hand batter waits. Fights that one away, still one and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That one is absolutely belted. That's down, one hops off the wall. Devers headed home. He's in safely at second as they score a pair on the play. Ready at the plate, got him. The base runner did a great job of making that a close play at the plate with an excellent slide. Made the catcher work to get out there and put down the tag. The throw was on the money, and that's what made the difference. Big time play to cut down a run. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Two outs. Slice down the right side. And down on strikes he goes. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Red Sox three, and the Mariners nothing. Back at T-Mobile Park, and towing the slab in this one, Jordan Montgomery. Chris, how about a scouting report? Oh, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, yeah, the well, offense is definitely expected to score the four yeah, runs at least unless they're really yeah, struggling. Yeah. So you know more times than not, when he's on the oh. bump, you're going to win the ball game yeah, if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got yeah. good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. And now the lefty. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Tosses the first. One up, one down. Batting second. Now Scott Service, service lined up for the Seattle Mariners. Mariners. This Run, is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two outs, base is empty. The batter the down, Jorge Polanco. And that one fouled off. Whoa. And another ball. The Mariners trailing by three here on opening day. Next pitch misses way outside. Two down, nobody on. Line drive and makes the play, and that's out number three. Mariners go down quietly there. They trail in this one, three nothing. And we're back. Leading now it's the right second side. baseman, Vaughn second Grissom. Vaughn Grissom. Here's a 1 1. Foul ball there. The 1 2. This to third. On to first. And quickly one away in the second. Here's Reese McGuire. One down, base is empty. Three Swings down. through that one, it's a strikeout. 
When you can run your fastball up there in the high 90s, you think you throw it almost all the time. But right there in that at bat, he saved it until the final pitch and just blew it right by the batter. I mean, that's almost impossible to catch up to if you haven't had a chance to time that velocity and if you're not given a reason to be expecting it. Two outs. Just missing there. Full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And that keeps the inning going. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now at the plate, Pablo Reyes. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Slow roller to third. And oh, that's, that's just foul. foul. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Three two now. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Red Sox leave one, but they lead it 3 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. In now is the Mariners' DH, Mitch Garver. Garver. The pitch. And another ball. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. And a pitch. That one lifted to left. Yoshida drifts towards it. And out number one on the grab. Batting fifth. The catch. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. Raleigh. One out, base is empty. You know, Raleigh made history in 2023. He had a game with two home runs and six RBIs, becoming the first catcher in Mariners history to do that. And another ball. Speaking of dingers, he's the second fastest to 50 home runs in Seattle history. Only A Rod needed fewer games. That one misses, and that's ball three. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two down. Here's Nolan Gorman. Fastball for a strike. Going to count one and two. Two out, space is empty. That one not close. And the count's even at two. And a swing and a miss down on strikes and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one two three nothing across here this half we head on now to the top of the third it's the Red Sox three and the Mariners nothing top half of the third inning and stepping in for Boston Masataka Yoshida Yoshida wouldn't chase that time been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Two two down. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. A solo shot his first homer of the year and they add on it's four nothing already playing with the lead and now they're celebrating a home run they're having a great time out there
Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Rafael Devers. The wind of the pitch. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go Here back goes. to work. One focus strike. on this next batter. The wind of the pitch. And a strike to Devers. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. One run across in the frame so far as we play game one of this four-game series. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Whips it to first. And Devers is set down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not oh, allowing it to stay in the head, but the going to work at the next hitter, and a tough three. one at that. Awesome. Now batting Tristan Casas. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One out, base is empty, and a run in. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Cut on and miss, struck him out, and there are two outs. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of now jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split-finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. Two down, nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Line of the pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Rowley gathers, throws He's the up. first in time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. And the pitch. In the air, right side. O'Neill drifts towards it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Luke Raley up next for the Mariners. One down, base is empty. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. And nope. that's off that's the inside. inside edge. Two balls, two strikes. The Red Sox leading by four here in the last half of the third. The pitch. Hard ground ball, base now. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. that. Really nice job the staying up the middle three. with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Four. Just shot it through the infield. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. Kicks and deals. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. On the ground. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. A couple of singles back to back. Could be a chance here for them now to start back. clawing back into this ball game. JP. So the batting order Crawford. turns over. JP Crawford gets a chance to hit. Two on, one out. Hey. And that time, hey. and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt, but kept close. Well done behind the dish. Got Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Bounce to third. Oh, great stop. The throw to second, to first, not in time. Great effort there. Yeah. 
And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Hard ground ball, base down. In to score is the runner from third. It's 4 1. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. Doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. So first and second with two outs. Here's the second baseman, Jorge Polanco. That's the third, and that one handled. In plenty of time to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 4-1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back in Seattle, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Tyler O'Neill. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now back, second base Vaughn. And next for the Red Sox, Vaughn Grissom. That's in there, and that is strike two. Yeah, that skips into there. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. And that gets down for a base hit. Around third. He'll score. It's 5-1. Puts a run on the now board and picks up an RBI. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Reese McGuire up next for the Red Sox. Aye. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. And that's another open. ball. on that one with that kind of velocity and elevated fastball even if it's still in the it's strike kind of zone can be tough for hitters to get on top of Jerry. now batting Durant. Jaron Duran and that one is in for a strike swing and a ball lifted left field no trouble here puts it away for the out and yeah, there's two away And now Pablo Reyes. Man on second, two down. The shortstop takes the ball. What makes him special is a lot of pitchers lose movement in their stuff the deeper they go into a game, but he's just different. We see plenty of break in his pitches, even when he's running a little low in the tank. Rodriguez right there to make the grab, and that'll do it. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 5-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park, go? bottom What's of the fourth, there, Mitch Garver up to hit the here. Mitch Garver. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. That's a pretty nasty pitch right the there. I call it a power yeah. curveball in the 80s. Rolling. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Yeah, the batter now, Cal Raleigh. Here's a one two. And ball another two. ball. Swing and a ball popped up. Reyes puts it away. That's out number two. 
The third baseman, number two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Gorman. Gorman. Two outs. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. This one in the air right field, and that oh, is a foul ball. The one-two. And that's in the dirt. The M's down by four. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And Count that's outside. Four. Counts full, three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Line to left, and it gets down for a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Now the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. Swing and a miss, and it's three and two. Three, two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. McGuire hauls it in to end the inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played four. It's the Red Sox five, and the Mariners one. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Austin Volk. Number Still three. pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to have. Oh. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Right side. One away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel now, it up now, enough now. to really no drive crazy. it. And oh, here oh. is Devers. Yeah. One down, base is empty. Strike on the inside corner. Now this is in the air down the line. And that drops foul. Here's a one-two. And they'll do it again. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right-handed reliever. Liner caught it second. That at bat is a positive sign, no, no, even no. though it probably no, doesn't no, feel no. like it. He hit no, the ball no, hard, no. but it doesn't no, always no. work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. a three up three down inning Red Sox go down one two three they're up five one we head to the bottom of the fifth and now for Seattle Ty France fly ball to right O'Neill drifts towards it 
makes the catch, and there's one gone. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. The shortstop takes the ball. Action in the pen down there. Garrett Whitlock appears to be getting loose. Number 28 getting cranked up as well. And a pitch. That misses the zone. And now three balls and a strike. The pitch. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much Number to think about. Number 34. So digging in, Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Singing, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. At the belt and fires. He's so solid calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Base knock right field. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Jordan Montgomery will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Tanner Howe. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So one out with two aboard. And up next for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. And he deals. Bows it back with two strikes. Kicked into the mid strike three. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. So first and second with two outs. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Garver. Just Whoa, off the outside there. edge. And now three and one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into no, an inning oh, with oh. pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating no, opportunities, no, no. and this is one of them right here. Here's the catcher to hit, Cal Raleigh. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Close one, doesn't get the call. And the count two and one. Base hit, one run in already. as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off the tee. Now the third baseman, Nolan Gorman. The 1-1. One -one. Swings through that. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And now before the one two, time is called at home plate. Two on, two outs. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back there. Listen to these fans. 
This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. At this level, you got to be good. Sometimes you got to be a little lucky. That was a pretty nasty pitch. Sinker on the outside corner, but he did a great job of covering it. And he hit the ball into the ball. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. And here it comes. That one ripped. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. But not before five cross the plate. With a big blow being this three run homer. It's now six five. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back. And now the DH, number 47. Righty delivers. And that's outside. And there's the ball. Tyler O'Neill on deck for Boston. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. In the air, left field. Rayleigh drifts towards it. Pulls it in for the out. And that quickly, two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. Oh, that front right shoulder there. coming open the instead of staying base. closed. Ball if he line. does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Wait on that fastball. One ball, two strikes. That one missed. Two, ball. Two, Two down, ball. nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. That one misses. And that's ball three. The other way. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, patience and discipline paid off right yeah, there yeah. as he got into an advantage count. Three. That pretty much split the zone Number down one, the middle, one. and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. Swings and misses. And a ball. One and two. two. Two outs. Bounce to the right side. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. So one hit is all they get. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Mariners six and the Red Sox five. Bottom of the sixth inning, and stepping in for the Mariners, Luke Rayleigh. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off no, the base no, pass. Please, it's no, not no, just the pitcher. Please. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The one two wouldn't <laughs> chase yep. that time. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the righty deals. On the ground to third. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. The batter, the batter. Number three. The batter now, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. And that one wrapped foul. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. On the ground right side, four, six, three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up, it's the Mariners six, and the Red Sox five. Welcome back, we're in the seventh, we have a new pitcher on the mound, Gabe Spire. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Looking to get the tying run on base. Pitch misses, and that's ball two. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. On the ground to third, zips it to first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Now it's the shortstop, Pablo Reyes. The pitch. Ground ball right side. Sends it to first. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Two down, nobody on. That misses the zone. Two and one. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. Two outs. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing do it for Boston. This one remains close. Six five. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 28 on for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. You better believe that. It's always so special the first time. You get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Yeah, the right hander deals. Line drive, base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Rodriguez the board here at first with nobody out tag and he's out at first couldn't get back to the bag 
Really nice job right there, especially on the mound. Sometimes when that runner breaks, everybody panics, especially the pitcher, and then you don't make the play, you don't execute what needs to be done to get that runner out. That time he just stepped off calmly, dealt with the situation, and they got a pretty easy out after that. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Three. And down on strikes. And there's two down. Oh, really went aggressive in with that oh, slider. Yeah. Good two strike oh, pitch right there. Good. At worst case yeah. scenario, it's weak oh, contact oh, oh. in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. And a That's good eye there. Three. Fouls one off, two and two. A line to kick the pitch. Foul ball, another two two upcoming. And a pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Fights it off, he'll see another. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Gregory Santos. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. Here's the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Kicks and fires. Just missed. Yeah. Up and oh, in, and now three and one. I always feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Tristan Casas to bat next. Left hand batter waits. Wait off with that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. And here it comes. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. That's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Trevor Story. Number 10. No outs, runner at first. Now here is Tristan Casas. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Well, two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Left field. Drops into the glove. Now it's the DH with the go ahead run at the plate, and we're in the top of the eighth. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes the grab, two down. 
Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look now, really now. good Wait, because they're high level, high but they're just about impossible mm -hmm. to get the barrel to. And now the right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. With the tying run on at first as we play game one of this four game series. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. And a pitch to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for the Red Sox. Still a tight ball game. It's 6 5. So coming into the game now on defense, Trevor Store. He's the new third baseman. Lucas Litke gets the call from the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now the catcher up to hit, Cal Raleigh. Ball to strike. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. Now, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there are two down. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves, knowing that they can miss the bat. Duran snags it on the run. Mariners are down in order as it remains a 6-5 ball game. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Andres Munoz. A chance at his first save of the year. And now, Ronald Grissom. What are you looking to do in these spots? You're down a run, you're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat, ultimately, however he can, get to first base. Now here is Reese McGuire. One run game here in the top of the ninth. In the air, left side. Ray on the move. Brings it in. And there's two down. So it's their last chance in this one. Jaron Duran digs in now. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Munoz is just one strike away. Fouls it off, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. And a ball evens the count. Save of the 
season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. 6-5 the final here today. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. For the Red Sox, five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 23 minutes. Tonight's pay 